hi guys welcome back to my channel this is nicola trees budgets this video is going to be a voiceover this was a long awaited video that i was supposed to upload last week <laughs> at this point um because today is sunday is actually easter happy easter to all who celebrates but um i was supposed to this a video was sitting in my i movie for a while and i haven't gotten the chance to edit it um so here i am um i didn't it wasn't a lot going on because this day everybody was in the house and sometimes i'm not as comfortable when everybody is in the house watching me or listening to me do my do my counting and everything i did i just do everything better when nobody's at the house that's just me though um so this whole video i was actually being quiet or i was saying stuff to myself because i knew at what points i want to say whatever um so yeah so i'm just going to be directing the video of everything that's going on and i'll let y'all know some changes that i just did so yeah so in this part i'm i am um doing my cash envelopes um and i'm actually about to so i did change this a little bit so next video which i will probably see this weekend um this i changed it <laughs> so i don't have the categories I do it differently now so i mostly use my card if i use my cash it's very sparingly and it's not is everything that's anything that's under twenty dollars i'll use my cash if it's over twenty dollars i'm going to use my card most of the time i'm going to use my card um so i did have a little change um because i did use my cash a couple of times but i realized that i wasn't using my cash on time i still do keep up um yeah, I still keep up with what I'm spending and stuff like that. So that's not throwing me off because I'm writing everything down. Once I spend it, I take money out and I put it towards whatever credit card I use. So um, with this, I think I was just counting to see. I'm Usually when I do my cash, I use my cash um, envelopes um, and I didn't use it and it's a new week. I try to take out money for my savings challenge. I'm trying to think if I want to keep doing that or just take all of it out and just start over every two weeks um i guess it just depends on what's going on that following week of like if i want to keep some money in and just still put some towards savings i'm still trying to go back and forth with how i want to do that because it's just so much going on right now um so yeah but um this is just what's been working for right now um uh, i do i am trying to keep a buffer in my account just so if i do need to spend any extra money or if i'm not paying attention one time and I end up going over i can i have that extra money in my account so i am trying to keep i do have extra money just in my account that i just spend if i need to um so if taxes end up going over on something or if i don't got like an extra dollar in my wallet or whatever like that um then that's when the extra buffer will come in at so um all of my cash i put like 40 or 60 dollars cash in my wallet and the rest of my money will be in another envelope and then when it's time for me to come back home and look over my spending for that day or that week i'll take from out of that folder and put it towards my cards i'll explain it in the next video it sounds difficult but right now this is just working i haven't been using like i said i haven't been using my dollars i use them sometimes but it just hasn't been beneficial because I've just been whipping out my card. Um, which, like I said, I keep track of it because I check my account every day. And I make sure all of my things are in order. So, and I, I'm so happy that I got so, um, what is the word? What is the word? <laughs> I've gotten disciplined enough to be able to do that. So, I thank God for that. Um, so, I haven't really been doing my coins challenge like that because of that reason that I only have a certain amount of cash. But if I use my cash, it has to be under $20. So, if I have coins and I have them, um, I have dwindled my saving challenges down. You will see that um, to only doing two. It's going to be two that I'm doing. So, it'll be the $1,000 challenge and, of course, the 50 envelope challenge that has now that has all 20s in there. And I just uh, put $20 bills. I changed it and I put $20 bills in there because it's easier because i don't get change or i don't have um anything under a 10 so yeah um what am i doing here i think i was doing going through my personal my spending category i haven't been shopping like that now i have because easter came up but i realized i've only been 
like shopping for certain little things that I needed. Like I'm looking through my stuff now and I'm trying to do some spring cleaning and I'm like, okay, I need this. I need that. And that'll take me through the rest of the spring and the summer. Um, so yeah, that was the end of my cash stuffing. I have no idea what I was saying right here. Um, but yeah, um, I know see the money on the side. That'll be the money that's going to the, um, challenges. Um, I think I'm about to, am I going to do it right now? Oh, um, yes. So this money that's on the side, um, that's in the cash trace, get it right <laughs> in the cash trace still, that was money that was going into my daughter's binder and it has her dance binder is her dance envelope and it has her back to school envelope that I'm trying to fill up. Um, the back to school envelope is basically for prime time when they go back to prime time next school year. We don't have it this year because they don't have the teachers and long story short. <laughs> um, and her dance stuff is basically, basically her, when she do her solo competitions and like little stuff for dance that I'll have just the extra cash for. Um, I just emptied that cause I just had to pay for one of her, um, I had to pay for her solo for this upcoming competition. So yeah. Um, so I'm just, I just keep putting money in that every time I take it out, just keep putting it in, just build it in. So it's not like, Oh, I don't have it. No, I keep putting that. I put that into my budget to where I take it out. Um, and then I take out money for back to school and I do have a tracker for it. It's not a tracker. It's like a challenge. But I do have a tracker of how much I put in there. Sometimes I put more, sometimes I put less. But each one of those get 30 every two weeks, sometimes um, every week. Because I do have another job, as you all know. Um, and I get like a small amount of money and I put it to where it's needed at that moment. I use that either to keep in my buffer on my ch um, checkers account or I just use it. And I use it for, oh, I'm going to need this money for this certain thing. Or I'm going to need this for... So, that's what that's used for. Um, What's going on here? But how are y'all? How, how is everything going with everyone else? Like, how is y'all budgets going? I know sometimes it is hard when your money isn't consistent. It's, it kind of, like, puts you at a standstill. I've been at a standstill for a while, which explains why I haven't, you know, edited this video up until now. Because it's just, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff. It's a lot of things that are always changing because I, I just don't know. <laughs> it's like budgeting is fun, but it's like when you're not making a certain amount of money, it's kind of, it got, it kind of gets repetitive. Not repetitive. Well, yeah, I think it's like kind of repetitive. Um, so that's why I'm, I was kind of stuck at a standstill. So that's why I was like, did I want to put up this video? I didn't mind if it didn't go out, but I did want to at least have something go out and because I know I'm going to have another video um, by next week, Sunday. Hopefully, I can get it out Saturday. But that is my daughter's competition weekend. So, mm, it should be up either Sunday or next Monday. But we're moving along. So, this money right here is for my savings challenges. Yes, it's a lot. <laughs> but I want to make sure I had like enough to put in these challenges oh and you know what i think I, this is the video that i did clear out that other challenge i think um or i think i did that off off camera i cleared out the pocket wallet challenge i cleared that out and i put um that money into the thousand dollars i will show y'all i'll put i put that money into the thousand dollars that i'm trying to save for car maintenance slash new car fund whenever that comes <laughs> Um, so that's why I'm just down to this box challenge and that one. And then I do, like I said, I have another challenge book that I'm working, that I'll be working on and I'll throw that into the mix too. Um, so yeah. So with this box challenge, I think it's like tens and twenties because it's easier to do tens and twenties. Um, if I don't have a 10 that I know for a fact, I'm going to have a 20. <laughs> um, so I usually try to fill in where I can. And I'm trying to finish this challenge as fast as I can. But like I said, when your income kind of goes up and down, it kind of it kind of like pauses you for a minute and it makes you want to throw all the money you ain't spent into your challenges and make you not want to spend as more. Or it doesn't make you want to spend at all, but it's like, you know, you have to get those few things because you know you have to spend something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't have to spend anything. You just have to figure out, okay, what do I need right now? It cannot wait. Um, so it does have me waiting. It is, it is a challenge to be like, okay, do I need this now? No, I don't need this now. This is not one of those things that's important. So, but since the um weather is changing, it's it's a lot of things. I'm like, ooh, I need that. Ooh, I need that. 
made me make sure all of my spring clothes and everything still fits because baby girl has been gaining a little bit of weight so <laughs> i'm trying to try on clothes and make sure everything fits right so i gotta wash clothes i'm sorry my mind just went somewhere else i have to wash clothes but anyway so this is my high priority binder Oop, the it's so big i have to move everything out of the way but this is my high priority binder it's in my a5 so my emergency one this is the car fund right here um then i have vision health and then i have my three credit cards that i use that i put my that i pay myself back i put the money in those which i will show in a minute um so this is the car maintenance fund like i said i cleared out my small black envelope the mini envelopes or the mini wallet um i cleared those out and i just put them in this challenge and i just marked off how much i had and those were already marked off. So now I'm about to count and see how much this is to be, to be added into this challenge. So it was one. Let me see. Two, three. I had a lot. I had three. Is that 320? Two, three. That I had put in this. Oh, yeah. 320. I think I had put in this challenge. But like I said, this was already planned to be put in this challenge. So... I'm just, I'm trying to, with these challenges, I'm trying to at least plan ahead um, and work it around my um, my budget. But it's getting a little tough out there for you, girl. <laughs> it's getting a little tough, but I'm holding on. I am holding on. Um, hopefully, I am trying to get up to 500 subscribers soon. I know it is hard, especially now it is hard for smaller YouTubers. And I've so I've been on this um journey for over a year now. With this channel, I've been on this channel. I started this channel over a year ago. Um, so like in December it hit my year mark that I've been um a part of the budgeting community on YouTube. But it's you know, it's like slow growth, and that's you know, I can only blame myself for that because I'm not consistent and I try to be on like Instagram because I do have an Instagram and I try to be on Instagram and share stuff but it's just like with me being in school right now and being a mother and a wife it's kind of hard to try to keep up with everything and I'm trying to I'm not try, I'm not going to do that I'm not going to try to keep up with everything I'll keep up oh it was 200 what I don't know but um I can't just keep up with everything so I do what I can if I can record I can record if I can I can hopefully soon though I will be able to pour more into um this channel and teaching others um but it's so many wonderful budgeters out there so many that are giving good information and it's like you know they have that that spark that brings people to their channels and um it's it's amazing because it's like wow it's good that everybody is just trying to learn about the cash budgeting system and how it works and how you know how to save money in a quick way and just how to save money and how to um grow your money in different ways and you know it's just so interesting and i love that so many people are hopping on the bandwagon this is what if, a, if you're gonna hop on a bandwagon this is one of the bandwagons because we're just trying to prepare for our future it's just so many things that we've seen in time over the years that it's like we should have been trying to get our lives together but now that we are we know better like we know better now to get ourselves together because if we don't now, we're going to be struggling forever. Are we going to have these issues forever? And the main issue is going to be the finances. One thing we don't want to have issues with is finances. So we can easily get ourselves together with that by just doing what we're supposed to do. Like it's, it's by no, it's not as hard as it, it's not as easy as one, two, three, but it's like simple steps like that. Living below your means um doing what you can for a little while do what you for six months if you can save what you can without spending any extra money on anything and just buying your necessities and your needs for six months you will see such a change in your finances it's crazy like you do not need everything all the time like get off, sometimes you have to get off of social media and change your mind on some things and get off of social media and just do do you just go go work and come home and relax without trying to get on social media and get distracted by social media and everything that pops up like amazon tiktok shops and stuff like that because that's where your money is going so just make a list and make make you know just get just just pause for a minute pause for like six months think about how long it takes for you to get an emergency fund how much do you need to get to get it in six months like add like do some math but yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.